Oh hell, I can fix that. <coughs> Honey! Can you bring me a band-aid, please? All right, uh, lots of us have light fixtures uh, similar to this one in our homes uh, for a couple of reasons. One, they're about as cheap as money can buy. Um, and so they're pretty common in uh, more modern construction just because I said they're inexpensive and it uh, brings the overall cost of the home down. However, uh, well, it's not a very attractive light fixture and uh, so we're going to go ahead and be replacing it today. Now, for those of you that are like myself, uh, that identify as a good old-fashioned southern redneck boy. Uh, let me translate all that for you. Uh, my missus and I don't like it because it looks like a big old titty. Now, there is a time and a place for those. Like them as much as the next man, but on the roof is not it. Oh, and be advised, guys, if it is, please don't put that in my comment thread. Just mind your business there. So, But uh, all jokes aside, no, guys, I'm going to go show you how to uh, go ahead and change this out for something just a little bit more modern. All right, guys, so first step here, we're going to do loosen this uh, lock nut and take the globe off. Big washer. Drop the glass globe. Uh, these tend to get really dirty inside, so don't pay that much, never mind. Before we remove the screws and drop this, and this one's not too bad, um, but a lot of times people will put these up and paint up to them, and you can see, uh, hopefully you can see on camera, there are some paint marks here. Now, I can get my finger all the way around. Um, but what I've had with these before is they'll actually catch the paint where people have painted up and not masked it off properly and tear the paint on your roof. So if that's the case and you don't have a gap in it like this one, take yourself a little hobby knife, score all the way around the outside edge just to make sure that you're not going to uh, tear the paint up on your roof. All right, now that the globe is down, uh, normally these have two uh, or four uh, screws in them holding them to anchors in the ceiling. And normally they're a Phillips screwdriver, nothing too fancy, but I can tell... Whoever put this one in uh, probably didn't have an idea what they're doing because there's big deck screws in it uh, with a Torx head. So we're going to be using my driver to remove those. And I'll show it to you as soon as I get it out of here. This, guys, is not the kind of screw that you want to put in this thing. Uh, and more than that, it looks to me like they just drove it into the sheetrock with no anchor really really a, uh, a poor way uh, to install these so anyway we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, the rest of these out so there's that Let's see if I can get this one to come loose all right there we go oh look there was a fourth one in there um, big shock okay so uh, basic electrical safety here, guys. Uh, I would recommend to anybody that has not uh, done a great deal of electrical work to go ahead and kill your breaker. Now, understand this is a light fixture. There's no power going to it at all with the switch in the off position, which we have. So we're going to go ahead and unwire it. So we have this bare copper wire. All right, which is our ground. And then they've uh, taped up these other leads. The black lead uh, in household electrical is your hot lead, the one carrying the current. So we'll get that off of there. And then the white lead uh, is your neutral. So just to make double sure, um, if you don't turn the breaker off, don't touch any couple of these at the same time and you shouldn't get shocked. Anyway, now the light is down. Let's take a look at the, uh, the new one that we're going to install. All right, so what we have here is a brand new 16-inch uh, flush mount Atome Smart Light. Uh, so it's dimmable. It's uh, the brightness or the intensity of the light goes from like a soft white to bright white to like day uh, brightness. And then it also has this uh, kind of nightlight uh, halo that's colored that you can adjust with the uh, with the app on your phone and uh, really uh, you'll have some fun with that and uh, create some pretty cool effects. So anyway, let's get it out of the box and uh, get it up on the roof now. Okay, so we have this uh, large mounting plate here that's designed to screw into our junction box in the roof. So now this light only has two leads coming off of it. It has the white neutral and the black hot lead. So what we're going to do up in here, there's a uh, metal grounding bar. We're going to go ahead and loosen that up and connect our ground directly to this bar uh, just for 
in the interest of safety here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, back the little green screw out. And uh, we'll ultimately connect our ground right there. So what we got to do as we're doing all this is take these screws out of the junction that hold the grounding bar in. Let them hang way low here. Alright, that's down below the level of the roof. That should be okay. Alright, that's okay there. So, like I said, these are hanging down low enough now where we can catch the plate on them. We're going to go ahead and wrap that ground. Just wrap it around the screw and snug it up. Like that. Alright guys, now I know from looking at this that these uh, these screws here are actually just a little bit too narrow. They're a little too close together to catch the mounting points here at my fingers on the plate. So what we're going to do is uh, adapt a little bit on the fly here. Um, you can see here in the plate that I've drilled a hole on either side. And uh, what we're going to do is actually use sheetrock anchors uh, a little wide of the uh, junction box to secure this into the roof. So we're going to slip the wires through the hole. Line up our one screw here that uh, we know will fit and just turn that like so. Put this up on the roof, hold it nice and flush, and go ahead and mark sheetrock anchors are going to set. Now, one of the best ways I've found to do this, there's my mark. We're just going to go really slow with a drill bit here and pilot a hole out like that that we can screw our sheetrock anchors into. So here we are. Like I said, pretty standard issue sheetrock anchor here. Let me line that back up and make sure I'm putting things in the right holes here. And once those are piloted, these just screw in. That one. All right, now that the sheetrock anchors are in, we're going to go ahead and uh, secure this mounting plate, get this thing wired up here, guys. We're actually just about finished now. Um, we've got our ground connected already. So, put the wires through. Line that up. Snug this screw just a little bit to hold that plate in place. Get the screws that we're going to be using for our sheetrock anchors. See if we can't get a couple of those lined up here. This is, again, this is a big light. It comes with this little security lanyard, uh, which hooks up onto the plate. So we're gonna go ahead and rehook that. And just There we go. 
and this is uh this is super easy here guys And we're going to go black to black with this wire nut here. And then connect the neutral or white to white. stuff out of the way here and uh, and there you have it all right so we have connected the light to the app so we've got uh, three tabs up here uh, white color and scene so it'll do all kinds of cool stuff you can also turn it on and off I think from here uh, like right there, here's power, so it'll shut down, so you can do it from your phone, you don't have to, uh, you know, hit the switch or anything. So there we have it guys you can see on the roof behind me the light just looks great uh, it's a very versatile thing with the uh, smart app I know you can hook it to Alexa as well it's a pretty cool product and I really really like it and so does Mrs. Busted Knuckle guys I hope this helps you out with just some basic electrical in your household and how to go about replacing light fixtures like the dreaded boob light because that thing is just atrocious and ugly and uh, some of the options that are available to you if you wanted to replace it with something slightly more modern. Anyway, guys, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Throw us a like. Uh, feel free to comment below. And in the description box, I'll link our Facebook page and our uh, email if you want to drop us a line. Guys, till next time, this is Chris for Busted Knuckle DIY saying keep wrenching.